Cheers. Just enjoy and take care. At the start of the film, we are shown the snowy forest of Norway, where a girl is being chased by a group of zombies. She could not save her life despite her best efforts as zombies catch and kill her. Here we notice that the zombies have worn the Nazi army uniform. Later, we see seven medical students who are heading towards a cabin to celebrate their Easter festival. The place they were going to is called Oxfjord. The place where they were going was behind the mountains, their Vegard's friend Sarah has a cabin at that place. They had to stay over there. Actually, Sarah was coming in the opposite direction to meet them. As they reach Oxfjord they park their cars as the cars can't move any further because that was a snowy and mountainous area. Later we see Vegard riding his snowmobile. And the remaining all of them follow him. At last, they reach their cabin. They enjoy the snow very much. Later during the night while Liv was going into the cabin she sees someone there. She gets scared and alerts everyone in the cabin about the presence of someone outside. All of them go outside to check, but couldn't see anything. Suddenly, a man appears over there and asks for a cup of coffee. After having a few sips of coffee he picks up their beer and drinks it. He was behaving as if it was his own house and the people out there as his acquaintances. Later, he starts telling about the dark past of that place. He tells that when the Second World War started. This particular location was then taken over by the Nazis. Colonel Herzog was in charge of the location. Consequently, Nazis made the life of inhabitants very miserable for nearly three years. They put very difficult conditions for the people who lived there. Later, when they felt that they would lose the war, they left that place. Those inhabitants were very angry over them and started to kill them. Their captain along with some soldiers ran away from that place and took shelter in the mountains, but due to freezing cold, all of them died. He says I'm sure even today those evil powers exist there and I want them to be dormant forever. At the same time, Roy starts laughing and making fun of him. He claims that we do not believe in such things as we are medical students. He also adds that we don't know why those evils and their powers vanished. After listening to Roy that person becomes furious holding him and says what will you do when your intestines are pulled out, how will you treat it? He warns them and goes away from there. He erects his tent and takes a meal as he feels hungry. After some time he hears some weird sounds. But he was unaware of the origin of those sounds. He goes out to check it out and sees zombies standing nearby him. He decides to save his life from zombies but suddenly one zombie approaches him and cuts his throat. He still somehow manages to enter his tent, but that zombie also follows and kills him. Vegard has a great impact on his story and he gets worried about his friend Sarah. He decides to find Sarah and tells his friends that if he doesn't return, then they have to go to their vehicles and seek help from there. As soon as he leaves from there, the remaining start enjoying themselves again because nobody was taking him seriously. On the other hand, we notice Vegard searching for Sarah, while he was searching for her, he approaches the same person's tent and discovers that someone has stabbed him to death. He also discovers footprints covered with blood and has no clue as to where those were heading, but he follows one of the imprints on the snow and falls in a pit. On the other hand, everyone was present in the house. They uncover and start opening a box. They were astonished once they opened the box which was made out of bronze. The box contained a lot of gold in it. From where did that gold come there? Their mind finally strikes about Nazis. They believed that it was the same gold Nazis were stealing during the war. But Martin negates their thinking. Meanwhile, Arland enters the cabin and Chris also follows him. Whereas Arland comes back but Chris doesn't. Because she was still in the outhouse. She assumes that Arlen might be doing a prank with her as she feels someone was watching her from outside. As she was thinking about it, suddenly a zombie attacks her. She cries a lot and runs towards the cabin, but those present in the cabin were listening to loud music as a result, they couldn't hear the screams of Chris. But Hannah listens to her. She immediately turns the music off and checks out for the voice she heard. Then we notice a zombie catching Chris and taking her along with itself. Hannah keeps looking out but she couldn't find anything. She thinks that there must be something wrong. 
She says that I'm not feeling right. She brings three of her friends out in order to find Chris. They all search for Chris but couldn't find her, but could discover a bag out there which belonged to Sarah. Now they fall in doubt about that place. And don't consider that place to be good. Hannah was constantly looking outside. As she was looking out, suddenly she notices Chris and gets relieved. After watching Chris for a while she finds out that it was only Chris's head. She yells out loudly with fear. Liv rushes over to Hannah to inquire about her shouting. She also looks outside but she can't see anything. As Liv looks outside a zombie snatches her hair as a result she cries a lot. Everyone tries to help her to free her with much difficulty and finally shut the door. Zombies were very powerful and were huge in numbers trying to attack from all sides. Meanwhile, Hannah slashes the hand of a zombie. They've realized that they were Nazi zombies. Arlen fears a lot and asks everyone to take care of themselves so that no zombie could harm them. He was trying to tell them about a trick of some movie using which they could save themselves. At the same time, a zombie comes and breaks him into two and holds his head. On the other hand, we notice Vegard restoring his senses. He realizes that he is trapped in a cave. Later, he fires a stick and moves inside the cave realizing it is a secret path. There he notices many things present over there including weapons belonging to the Nazi army. He also finds some helmets over there. As he was watching the helmets, he suddenly discovers Sarah's head over there. After watching all this he comes out of that tunnel, as he comes out a zombie grabs him. But he fights with that zombie and tries to save his life, but at the same time. Another zombie is seen coming out of the ground. On the other hand rest of the people present in the cabin were making a plan. They decide that two of them would distract the attention of the zombies. And rest of the two would reach the car for help. After that, we see Martin and Roy making sounds so as to attract the attention of the zombies. On the other hand, Hannah and Liv run towards the car for help. But, they both forget the path. After being trapped in such a big situation suddenly a zombie appears before them. Vegard who was fighting with zombies kills both the zombies. Suddenly a zombie catches him. And they both fell down, fortunately, that zombie had a rope with it. Zombie and Vegard were dangling with the rope. Meanwhile, that zombie attacks his neck, but he still manages to save his life and throws zombie down. Then he ascends with the help of the rope to save himself. On the other hand, Hannah and Liv who were supposed to reach the car were also fighting with the zombies. But Liv couldn't fight with them. Zombies catch her and harm her brutally. But, before she could die, she pulls a grenade and kills all the zombies present there. After watching this zombies Captain Colonel Herzog reaches there furiously. Hanna was standing at the top of the hill seeking help. When she was unable to understand, she thrashes the ice. Ice breaks and a zombie who was following her also falls on the ground. But she gets saved as she falls on the ice. When she wakes up she finds herself on the ice. She looks here and there and watches the zombie trapped in the ice. Without wasting any time she kills it. Meanwhile, Vegard tries to stitch his neck by himself. He takes out his weapon and puts it on his snowmobile and goes out to kill those zombies. Later we see Martin and Roy fighting with the zombies, they too make a Molotov bomb and throw it at zombies. Unfortunately, it falls inside the cabin and sets that place ablaze. They both run from that place to save their lives. Later, they enter a shed and find a lot of weapons over there. They decide to pick those weapons to fight with the zombies. As they come out they see a zombie army out there. Using those weapons they kill zombies one after another. Meanwhile, Vegard approaches there and kills all the zombies with his machine gun. Unfortunately, many zombies attack and kill him brutally. Both of his friends were witnessing this. Martin gets angry and he starts hitting those zombies indiscriminately. When he was hitting zombies suddenly Hannah approaches there. She was standing at his back. He thinks of her as one of the zombies and attacks her unknowingly and hits her throat with a saw. Martin gets very sad seeing her die like that. This was not the time for repentance because he was facing an army of zombies. 
while Martin was killing them one zombie bites his hand. He immediately cuts his hand with a saw to prevent zombie infection otherwise he would also turn into a zombie. After cutting his hand he looks very happy as he would not turn into a zombie. Suddenly a zombie appears from inside the ice and hits him. He still tries to save his life. He shouts very loudly and starts hitting zombie with his leg. Those two kill all the zombies except Herzog. They think that they would kill Herzog and run after that. But Herzog opens up his mouth and starts saying something. As a result, Earth begins to shatter. Later we notice all the dead zombies becoming alive and forming an army again. Both the two run away from their sensing danger. But Roy's foot becomes entangled in a shrub. Herzog utilizes this opportunity and kills Roy with help of a hammer. Herzog takes out a watch from his pocket and starts to see it strangely so that he could recognize it. Now Martin understands that the zombies want that box filled with gold. He reaches the cabin and picks the box filled with gold. Meanwhile, Herzog also reaches there with his two soldiers. Martin gives that box to him, actually, Herzog was searching for this box. After that Martin moves from there saving his life and approaches his car. While he was starting his car a gold coin drops from his pocket. Actually, Henna has stolen that coin and put